surely this time... Surely this time we'll do good. The men live and die for the goon squad now. For a moment the guy wasn't moving, I thought they were stuck. I was like, oh great, wonderful spawn. We can just walk over the water, which is nice. Uh, we've already got a ton of quests. I will... Peep the one star one. Okay, killing a bunch of dudes. Yeah, that sounds good to me. There's one star before I got another dude. So that will be fine. What's this guy? Bastard. Oh, he, he's extremely expensive. I didn't see that. Uh, I guess I could do the fisherman. Eric seems like a good one. Uh, I'll try him out. We'll never be of confident morale. Okay, I'll try out this guy. Death Wish and Fear of Beasts. You know what? I'll take that. <laughs> Fine with that one. Ambush trade routes are going to make everything like really obnoxiously expensive, but... We kind of need... Ooh, this is actually pretty nice. We kind of need to just deal with it anyways. Uh, I'll do a broken spear. It's not worth much. And a dollar store buckler. How's amber? Extremely expensive here. It makes sense. Maybe I should have went to Sandorf first. I definitely want... We've got tools. I think I'm going to have my axe guy get the super armor and get the fisherman to have the decent armor. Doll, get my line up. Good. Fantastic. That's a good squad of men, methinks. A solid squad of battle brethren. This is just a one-star quest, so... I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, the armor is getting fixed up along the way as well. So Axe Man's gonna be tough. To insane degree. Uh, I definitely want to camp until dawn. So that we can actually use our range weaponry. The bandits don't tend to have like crazy range weaponry. What is this map? I think we just back up and try to fight not on the uh, hill line at all. Plus maybe they'll fatigue themselves just uh, traveling down the hill. Which would be cool. I'm gonna move this guy down here. 32% chance hit, 44% chance to hit, I'll take it pretty good. Axe man can move one down. I have the spear guy form up spear line. Ooh. Well, I'll get the spear line going as well. Just cause them to wait out the clock a little bit. Get my crossbow guy to take some more lethal pot shots. Oh, he wasted his shield up. Let's go. Okay, that's kind of messed up. Okay, let's just get in here. Fantastic. Axe man, please head chop him to death. Pitchfork man needs to get poked. Crossbow tier. Should be relatively safe. I'm gonna move him down one. Just to <laughs> ensure safety. Oh, nice dodge. Great. This guy can move here in. Just absolutely ruin that mace man's day. Great. 
Okay, the stun was not super great, but luckily I've got a crossbow man. This guy's gonna get his shield up. Wonderful. Alright, this guy is kind of super duper screwed now. It's a scary blow, nevertheless. And wonderful. I like this map. It's a cool little map. We got a broken nose on Torkoal, which is actually horrible, but considering the alternative, uh, I'm not going to torn up about it. We got a pretty nice suit of armor as well. 70 health. I think that is pretty cool. I'm going to prioritize my well-established dudes first. This guy's got two range pips, one stamina, and two hearts. It's not super duper terrible. Not exactly what I was looking for, even still. I'll get the allies bond. I think that makes sense to me. Getting allies... Look, I'm already get pretty much going for that. I want towns to like me, right? So I'll buy shit at better prices. Which is just good. Kinda don't like how far I had to travel for this one. That was like a major downside. Mm, I do have a temple. I have that broken nose treated because I don't want Torkoal in fighting condition. I think I'm gonna start looking at Sandorf, trying to get it up. It's got an Amber Collector near it as well, so... Ooh... The beasts terrorizing Sandorf is kind of scary. A scary quest. Maybe we can get another decent man. It's more fishermen. Fishermen aren't terrible. I'm gonna blind hire him. Just hope that he doesn't suck. Let's see, defense, fatigue, health. Not bad. Not bad at all. His tech kind of genuinely is ass. To the point where I think Leberact will get the flail. This guy can get the spear. And uh, can I get a couple hats for cheap? Relatively, sure. Literally anything is better than nothing, right? How long until this broken nose will heal by tomorrow? We can camp a little while longer then. <laughs> what? Okay. Well, hopefully broken nose guys, guys healed up. This is actually a god map for us, so... I'm mildly not super duper concerned. No, his nose is still broken. Whatever. We've got the spear line going. We'll just ping these guys with arrows. Don't like how they're trying to flank me. Hmm. You can probably rotate the squad slightly. Want to move the spearmen first, specifically this guy. Then I can, I guess, have this guy be here. No, here. There we go. Shield guy can go up here. Spearman can go over here. So yeah, there's the one open spot for them. Or I guess the two, <laughs> the three open spots. Look, he's gonna be, he's gonna be in a slightly bad way. But 
It simply is what it is. Alright, Axe Man. Please. Please don't be sucking Axe Man. Alright, shield up. Bonk. Oof. Oh, their high initiative is so... Dangerous. I think they're gonna start falling this turn. Well, not if this guy sucks. <laughs> or continues to suck, I should say. Bro. My brothers need to stop fucking up. And missing every single shot. Oof. He lost half his HP there. The blow went through his head. Or to his head, I should say. My axe man continues to miss every single shot. Which I just love to see. Oh boy. Everyone's fatigued like crazy. Except for the enemies. Yikes. Dude. No me gusta the super, super duper bad luck. It's just kind of incredibly horrible. Like, is there stuff I could have done better? Sure. But, like... Constantly missing 50% chances to hit and shit. It's just not where it's at, you know? Bruh. Oh, nicely done. Alright, is this crossbow reloaded? It is not reloaded. Well, we just need to continue to bonk this guy. The fatigue is really burning me. To a huge degree. As well. So did my other guy survive? No, he fucking literally died. I'm half tempted to restart right now, but I'm gonna just press through it. <laughs> we'll rotate in even more. Friggin' fisherman. I'll try him out. Oh, this guy's amazing. Maybe, what's his proficiencies? Let's see, melee attack, melee defense, fatigue. It's only one stars, but they're on all the good spots, so. I'm not too torn up about it. I'm gonna experiment with getting these amber shards as well. I feel like uh, it'd be cool to see if I can trade them in Cunning Gamin for a good price. I mean, this place has Amber Shard collection as well, so probably not, but yeah, it's selling for 49 Let's see. Rare Coin Collection. 
Yeah. I'll need some time to think about it, specifically for my dudes to heal up. Which is what it is. Do I want to just try to rock the melee skill? Or should I try to eventually convert this guy into a archer, I wonder? I think it'd be worth trying to convert him into an archer. Meanwhile, this guy can get his... Guess resolve up. Twerkle can also get the book trait. Get your aiming to be decent. And those are god rolls on the health and the fatigue. I didn't know this when I first started, but uh, the the level ups are random, kind of like Fire Emblem. It rolls for each stat. It's, it's like Fire Emblem and Merowind, like if they had a baby. It's a nice system. I don't dislike it. Alright, how's the roster looking? Everyone's healed up. Alright, you want me to kill coin dudes? I accept the contract. I might want this fodder brother as well. He's got no bad traits, so... His stats will be incredibly mediocre, but we can make up for it if he lives, because three melee defense is actually really nice. He can get the leather tunic, the bandana, and the spear. You can get the mace, and we need a shield. I'll take this broken one for 57. You can equip this. Is there any good hats? They're slightly expensive. Tools are super duper expensive as well. Okay, we can we can live without the tools. Everyone's got at least a tiny hat. Oh, we got 25 coins for free. That's what I like to see. <laughs> Where are these guys going? They're starting a Minecraft base out in the middle of nowhere. Thieves 7. It's going to be Brigand Thugs. I think we'll be fine, maybe... Yeah, I mean, they're kind of scary, but we'll make do. It's a lot of dudes with just like lackluster weaponry and no shields. I'll get this guy spear lined up. Honestly, I think I want to seize the initiative and bonk this guy. This will let me rotate the squad and put the archer in a safe spot. Oh, that's so great. That's super great. That's wonderful. We've got the pitchfork guy on the ropes as well. Get my spear brother over here. Bonk the shield guy to death. Get this guy killed. I'll take a pot shot at this guy. It hit the bush. No biggie. Hate that that guy's getting away, but. Not too torn up about it. Ah! 
Oh, that's so good. Nice shot. This is the good RNG. Blessed be. Only the little knife guy won't get away. Just completely fine. That was nice and clean. We got a bunch of weapons, no armor. No big deal. Let's see, 250 crowns, not worth it. Like, uh, I mean, it would be more crowns, but it wouldn't be so much more. You gotta at least double what I'm getting paid if you want me to be a scumbag. I think we need to go back to Sandorf. Hmm. Ibnfest might be a good place to get tools. I have heard that, uh, castles have tools for cheap. I suppose I'll make my way there. I might get screwed on my uh, money count. Hopefully not. Or uh, buy the food, I mean. So the tools are relatively cheap. Blessed be. <gasps> the amber is selling for 320. Dude, we've actually made a profit. Let's go. What else did I need here? The grains are also cheap, relatively speaking. Kind of like the idea of grabbing javelins up as well. I think I can wait. Let's go back to Sandorf. <laughs> it starts an exit out. Suddenly we're great on all things. Sandorf. Let's see. Waldberg. Yeah, that's fine. Can I get another lad? Could give Vander, potentially. I mean, how's my fisherman's stats? They start with pretty okay stuff, I think. Might be worth getting. By the way, I need to level this lad up. Uh, you're gonna be a ranged person. Maybe quick hands would be good. Could do gifted. I think I want to do gifted. Want to just get him fast level. We'll just get humongous levels on uh, all his important skills. Yeah, the man's kind of becoming cracked. Uh, Torkoal is already ranged, so I kind of want to get him with quick hands. Is this guy, like, actually level 3 now? Oh, maybe I shouldn't do gifted. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do quick hands. And Torkoal can get the plus 4 to archery, plus 4 to range defense, plus 3 HP. This is a little bit low on HP. Mace Frontliner. Honestly, I think Recover would be nice because the Mace guys seem to just like constantly run out of fatigue. And it would be nice to be able to recover it and then start going crazy. I'll try out Vander. <clears throat> do I want him? I think I do. That way I will feel comfortable and secure. I think Melt, because you're already so good at ranged, you can uh, use a bow, assuming we can, which we cannot. Also, I mean, I just take some amber. Okay, for now he can be in the front, I guess. And this fisherman can get the buckler and shield. We need some armor. Maybe when we Go back through Ebonfest, we can. Pick up armor there. Seven thugs isn't that bad, really. I think I'll just form up a line with my dudes. My crossbow tier. Can just wait over here. I guess this guy can wait over here. I'm just gonna want all these brigands to come up and fight the caravan people. So that, uh... 
Less of my men die. Look, that's what the caravans are here for, okay. They're here to fuck shit up. I'm here to support them. I'll force these guys to come up. To us. Alright, my mace man. My spearman, you can wait. Beautiful. They've engaged. That's not beautiful. We'll have to do. Guess I'll move up here and try to get a headshot. Because the guy's got no helmet. Beautiful, he's almost dead. In a single blow. Single cacophonous blow. A showering of teeth and bone. Caravan guards, you need to start. You need to start pulling your way, caravan guards. Sorry to say. Beautiful. Also beautiful. We'll get a bash on his armor. Get this guy stepping up. Wondrous. I'm glad that didn't uh, result in my guy and silly dying. Oh, a stun? That's big. Oh. It's always brutal and the crossbow man misses with a 70% chance. Just continue to bonk this man. Nice job, caravan ear. Guess I'll go over here, help out. Crossbow man. Was that my guy? Let's see. Caravan hand was slain here. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. <laughs> Big yikers. Alright, we're we're fine. Swaps the dagger, Torkoal. Finish this man. He's got no armor, so use the easy one. Wonderful. Okay, that's not so wonderful. I think that's my dude. <laughs> Crap, dude. Alright, sweet. So Vander kind of got really screwed up. To an insane degree. Everyone else is just fine. We got some crowns, some equipment, some tools and supplies to repair our busted armor. That much is good. I kind of think I want to put Vander in reserve for now. <laughs> much as I hate to say it. Burke. Can you get the XP points? That's a magnificent level. Airballed as well. You got an okay level. His HP is so god awful, I will say. You probably should get Colossus next. Dude, are you fucking joking? <sighs> Brigand Raiders? Like, we're gonna have three new caravan hands. It would be nice to get armor. If it's just one brigand raider, it'd be one thing. Don't know, I think we might want to abandon this job. Look, it simply had to be done. I'll follow them. Make sure they get killed by the second Walberg company get my revenge, you know? 
Let's just step up here. Get to sight on everything. Sound seems good to me. Oh, if we're really lucky, we can get some armor out of this. We are going to have to get in there and actually help out, I think, to get any of the, like, the last hitting goodies. So I'll just start running in. Want to sort of join up on this flank. My Torkoal swapped the crossbow. Reload it. Okay, awesome. I like that guy's red helmet. Okay, this company, militiamen, they're really, really powerful. Ooh, they're coming to help out. Excellent. I'm gonna put this guy here and shield up for a little bit. Have him wait. So I definitely do want to get in there, but just not quite at this moment. Oh wow, that guy got a good hit on that guy. Oh yeah. And they're screwing him up. There's some easy pickings. We might be able to yoink a free kill out of this. Can I please land a shot, bro? Alright, flail to the head. Oh, I hit the thing. No. Wait. No. <laughs> He's gonna get it. They're gonna get the kill instead of me. A cry in shame. Whatever, we got some XP out of it. And we did get some goodies too. I'm not gonna be super upset with that. Let's make camp outside of Ebenfest. And then try to buy some goodies. So first of all, the Amber's selling for good. That's what I like to see. There is, in fact, a bunch of bolts and arrows. I definitely want to buy... Let's see, what's it's worth? It's kind of stinky, price-wise, but whatever. I'll buy it. And a quiver of arrows. The arrows are actually selling for exactly market rate, which is cool. Is there any equipment I need? So everyone's got kind of extremely mediocre armor and equipment. Weapon-wise, we're doing pretty good. I think a padded surcoat for cheap is nice. A gambeson also is nice. Full acton cap. I don't want the nasal helmet, or I do want it. It's too expensive. Don't want it for what they're selling it for. Flail guy. Can be fully kitted out now. He's kitted out now. Everold needs some armor. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Is there a temple in this town? No, there isn't. Well, let's go back to Sandorf. I'm sure they're slightly miffed that I uh, abandoned their quest, but 
to be frank, is either that or perish. So, yeah, it's on them for giving me quests I can't do. Let's be real here. Oh no, they got nothing. They don't even have the amber. Konix mod likes me. It does have a temple as well. Uh, I'll treat these wounds. We got cultist procession. Does that mean I can hire them? Oh, they're relatively cheap too. Don't know if I necessarily care right now. Uh, what are the two two star quests? Okay, not doing a caravan quest. It's just too cucked. Hmm. Wasting house. Yeah, sure. Amber's too expensive here to make a profit. So we don't have to do that. And fine set of armor would be cool. Or this Akaton, actually. I'll grab that up. So how long will the scrap heal? We'll heal by tomorrow. Uh, where's Weizen House? That's kind of interesting to go in that direction anyways. Uh, let me make camp. Just make sure my guys are healed up before any potential conflict. Alright, I think we're fine. So Weizen House has a bunch of wheat fields and stuff. It's got disappearing villagers. Which, uh, is what it is. We can definitely help with that, I think. And then be able to get the cloth rolls for cheap. Really happy with Vander and Melt. Got a solid just group of dudes. Uh, definitely Melt needs to swap out for lighter stuff so that Vander can get his goodies. Methinks it's just very important. Uh, for hunting beasts, I might as well get this Butcher's Cleaver rocking as well. 